Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where we are Fuchsia, or rather Magenta, and uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a thing. We're also on a huge map here. We've already traveled from, if Rogue Tech respawns here, we've already traveled from here all the way up to here in Assault Mechs. And we've only killed two units. Everyone else is hiding up over here by the evac zone. We've got a ways to go. So the mauler is at this point going to need to make its way over this ridge. So we're going to use our active ability of careful maneuvers, which will allow us to climb up to the top of the ridge. And hopefully, I think we're going to have to careful maneuver down again next round. But that should save us some time. We're going to fire on the catapult. And this catapult has been knocked down. We're going to fire on it with our LRM-10, but we're not expecting too much out of this. A little bit of armor damage. I like it. The catapult gets up immediately. That's sad. Very sad indeed. And then fires on the Battlemaster, but gets no hits at all. Okay, I like it. Very nice. Now we need to think about, are we going to go up here or are we going to go around with the water? That's a question, isn't it? A question that we need to ask. Phase 23, the Marauder and the Avatar still need to move. I hope they keep clustering these guys together. That would be nice. Yeah, that Marauder is actually closer now. So we should be firing at the Avatar with our artillery unless... Okay. Now it's the catapult again. Thermo barracks not really mattering. Indicator shows minimal damage. Excellent. Okay, so our awesome is going to continue to trundle forward. But we need to decide, do we want to go up this way and then careful maneuver up or just go around the water? And I think we go around the water. We could fire on the avatar here. But the catapult is super close to dead, and I want to continue to chunk armor off of it. Yeah, now that's a structure exposure. That's excellent. Now, keep in mind, we're almost out of LRMs. We've been shooting a lot of indirect lately. Of course, our Orion's doing pretty good on LRMs. At this point, I kind of want to strip armor off of things other than the catapult, because the catapult likely dies to artillery. Let's start firing on this Marauder and strip more armor off. Okay, not a huge amount of armor stripped there, but it'll do. Centurion moves on up, fires on the Avatar. I like that choice. Waiting for order. Our Salamander is going to head out over this way. We're not really firing the ATMs at this point. We're just heading out to the water. I'm your Spaniel. The Mauler is going to need to careful maneuvers again to climb down here. And which of these is more likely that we're going to be able to continue from? I guess this one, but we may have to careful maneuvers another time. We'll have to see. On you, okay, so the boar's head is going to step on forward over here. Right, it's commander. starting to run a little hot, but we're going to drop artillery on that catapult. Solid hits sir. I really like that. There's more where that That's excellent. The Battlemaster is just needing LOS. We're going to sprint up. And sink that heat. Standing by. Corsair is in the same boat. Sprint up. And sink heat. The Mackie moves in. It fires its stumper on the Typhoon. I, I guess that's okay. It does damage yeah. anyway. To something, I guess. But it really should have fired on this cluster of mechs. We're going to fire on the catapult. Engaging target. This could easily kill the catapult. And it did. The catapult is down, and with it goes our primary Mech threat destroyed. to indirect dominance. <sighs> I wish we weren't fighting for indirect dominance right now, but here we are. Here we are. Yes, Commander. So the awesome is going to sprint on forward into the water over here. And we can fire on this Marauder. That's okay. We are running low on LRMs in the awesome. But that's fine. Like, we we don't really care. The Orion is going to continue to move up and continue to drop LRMs on whatever is most likely here. 
30%, 33 on the Marauder, technically 37 on the Urban Combat Vehicle, but I honestly feel like hitting the Marauder right now is better. So we'll go ahead and do just that. And the reason that I feel that is better is because the Marauder's armor is getting really thin and that Typhoon is fresh. Our allies can continue chunking it down a little bit, but for now, this is okay. Man, this is such an awkward map to be on. Okay, the Marauder stacks in right there, which actually makes the Marauder a really you. solid artillery target. The Boar's Head steps Moving forward, out. and we're going to fire on that Marauder. This is an overheat alert. We're going to not fire the LRM-20 just to sink some heat this round. Very nice. And the Avatar backs up. Rather than spreading out more, it clusters in more. Hilarious. I don't know why it thinks this is a good idea, aye, aye. but I'm okay with it. The Corsair sprints forward. We need to try to get around here as soon as we can, which is a long ways out, to be clear. That is a long ways out. The Battlemaster is going to continue to head up over that way as well. And the Salamander is as well. Most of our mechs are direct fire, remember. We do have a couple of powerful indirect fire mechs that we've been able to carry this with. But, oh man, this would have been faster if we had LOS on anything ever. I'm regretting not landing up here, in all honesty. Like, if we had landed here, that would have been so much better. But we had no way of knowing at the time, and the bull shark steps forward and drops a long tom on that marauder. This could easily kill It's a lot of damage. Reporting critical hit. But no knockdown. Okay. So the Mauler is indeed going to need to do careful maneuvers here and step on forward. Moving to position. Okay. I was hoping it'd be able to move from there, but no such luck. They're firing on the Typhoon, which I guess is okay at this point. I would still prefer the Mauler because it's centrally located for splash damage. But if they've got a Thumper artillery, that's kind of a small splash. So no big deal there. The Orion is going to continue to move forward. And honestly, I feel like the Avatar has become the target now that there's all that exposed structure in the, in, in the uh, Marauder. Because I don't actually want to kill them because I want to more efficiently use splash damage at this point. If that makes any sense at all. So the fire starter moves up and shoots at the avatar as well. I like that call. The avatar now also has exposed structure. We still only see the typhoon from their reinforcements. But maybe the others are up there. So the Awesome is going to continue to make its way around. This is the last round of LRMs that the Awesome has. And we're going to fire those at the Avatar. Taking the shot. Excellent. I'm out of LRMs. That was fantastic. So the Avatar moves into the water, shoots at our friend the Centurion. We don't care. That, that missed everything, to be fair. Okay. So the boar's head is going to step up, you betcha. and this could easily kill both of these mechs with one blow. This should be good. There's a marauder gone. There we go. Two for one. I like it. <laughs> run when you had the chance. I think we already have that achievement, but that's still funny. Okay, yes, the salamander is going to sprint out into this water. Roger that. Trying to get around here and get us some LOS for once. Commander. The bull shark is going to step forward. Copy and that. really the only target left at this point is that typhoon. So we may as well. I'll warlord it just to boost the hit odds a little bit, but we don't expect too much out of this in all honesty. That was pretty good armor shred, actually. The typhoon moves now and it moves through the fire, takes some burn damage on the way. The Corsair needs to sprint on forward. Understood. Moving fast. I live to serve. And the Mauler sprints on forward as well. 
It's got that LRM 10, and what are the hit odds on that? 14% not worth. Okay. Standing by. So our battle master is going to try to make his way around this point a bit. Emphasis on try. The Mackie moves up, fires its thumper on that typhoon. Completely misses. Okay. So they have a phase 22 mover that we don't see. It could be units that are out right near this Typhoon that have been even getting hit by the artillery this whole time that just have, like, stealth generators or are, like, infantry or something. It's hard to say. The Orion is going to move on up, and we're going to drop additional LRMs on the Typhoon, which is getting pretty low on armor. The Salamander is getting very close to peeking Army. around here, but it's not there yet. Right here. The Battlemaster can make its way Brother up to that. here, and that's great. Centurion moves up, fires on that Typhoon. Gets some 12 damage in there. I like it. I'm here. Next up, our Corsair is going to continue to head over Copy to the point. That. Wait your command. The Mauler is going to head on over here as well. Hang out. Full speed. And we'll drop some LRMs on this Typhoon for good measure. Firing Only 20% hit odds, but that's okay. Six more damage. Yes, Commander. The Bull Shark is going to step over here. On my way. And continue to drop Long Toms. Target this long. could easily kill the Typhoon. But it's not going to. But that is another big armor shred. I like it. The Typhoon moves through the fire again. The Awesome is, of course, out of LRM-20s. Double time. Let's go. Okay. I hear ya. So the Boar's Head is going to continue to step forward. Way. We're running very low on artillery ammo. Firing but that's okay. That Typhoon is very low on armor. The Mackie moves up, fires its sniper artillery, or thumper, or whatever that is. I think it's a thumper. And does get some internal damage there. Firestarter moves up. Also fires on the Typhoon. Also gets some internal damage. The Typhoon moves. Backs off a little bit. Yes, Commander. Okay. At this point, I feel like the awesome reserves. I'm ready. There's no reserve button. Oh, it's right here. Of course, I'm a moron. Well, that's not anything new. <laughs> the Centurion moves up, fires on that Typhoon, and that's a kill on the Typhoon. So there's two more units around somewhere. We don't know where. If we don't find them immediately, we're just going to make for the evac. Because this mission has been long, and we don't really want to go exploring on this ridiculous map. <laughs> that's not going to be a thing. So that's fine. The Orion is going to continue to sprint forward. It is still going to take us a while to get to the evac zone, but we're hoping that their units are out over here. Good we'll go. find that out fairly soon. So the Salamander is going to come around over here. We now know that they're not in the evac zone. The evac zone is in sight. Waiting for orders. The Awesome is still going to be reserved. Waiting on the you, Boar's Head is just going to sprint forward going turbo. and sink all of its heat. Orders. The Awesome is actually still going to be waiting, but the Corsair can absolutely move forward here. All right, full speed. Okay, we'll reserve the Awesome now. Waiting for the shot. And the reason we wanted to reserve the Awesome is we want it to follow the Battlemaster, which is going to take it some time. We're going to have the Bull Shark start sprinting Happy over back. this way. It is quite behind everyone else. Yes, Commander. And now the Battlemaster is going to move up here and see what we can see. Nothing. I'm receiving you. We see nothing. Affirmative. Well, I'm very sad about that. Very sad indeed. We're going to just come down here, I think. Oh, hello. There's somebody. Light hit. Excellent. So that's a Zeus out there. Now we've got a target. With that, our Salamander is going to sprint forward. We've got LOS here. 
We are only 70% hit odds here, but that's good enough for me. We're going to Warlord that and fire on that Zeus, 75%. It is in cover, so we're only doing, and, and I think maybe braced, we're only doing half damage there. But that's okay. The Orion is going to sprint into the water here. And then we're just going to drop some LRMs on this Zeus. 25% hit odds, that's good enough. Excellent. Our friend the Centurion moves up, fires on that Zeus. I hear ya. The boar's head is going to close on in. No need to tell me twice. And we're gonna drop artillery on this guy. This is our last round of sniper artillery and arrow fours. Take this. But that's some decent armor shred. I like I've it. Got multiple weapons with no ammo. Indeed you done. do. The Mauler will step forward. We're not expecting any damage there. I should have sprinted it. That LRM-10 doesn't have the range we need. Fire starter firing on the Zeus, getting a little bit of armor damage there. We're really hoping that we see their phase 18 mover here and actually... We do, and that was a lot of damage. I'm taking heavy heat, Commander. That is a Fafnir 2, and that is a target priority. The awesome moves up. And we have best hit odds on the Fafnir too. Light him up. Firing. We've already done heavy damage to that Fafnir too with our artillery, which is great to see. The Battlemaster is going to close in over here. On my way. 30% versus 33. We're honestly going to fire on the Fafnir too here. Slightly better hit odds on the Zeus, but the Fafnir too is far more dangerous to us. So there's 50 damage. Awaiting orders. The bull shark is going to close in. Moving to position. And we've still got 11 rounds of long tom. So this Fafnir is about to take a big chunk of damage. That's almost certainly a knockdown. Okay, it's evasive at least. That's going to be a knockdown. Excellent. So with the Fafnir 2 knocked down, we can now close in with our... With, with our uh, aye, aye. Salamander. That's the one I'm looking for. The Corsair is going to look to round this corner as well. Now, the Salamander is definitely in a little bit of danger here. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Zeus moves up, fires on the Battlemaster, and misses. I'm okay with this. So the awesome will position here. Moving to position. Hit that Fafnir 2 right in the CT with your heavy PPCs. I want it gone. Both missed on 70%. Oof. Reporting <laughs> negative damage. Rude. Very rude. The Centurion moves up, fires on the Fafnir 2. Wonderful choice. Structure exposure. Yes. Come That's on. what we want to see. The Orion aye, aye. could very easily kill the Fafnir 2 here. We're going for CT, not for the torso that was exposed. That's very deliberate, because that's what we wanted. That crit, right there. Tango down. Beautiful. For orders. So, the Salamander is now looking for LOS on the Zeus and does not find it. Moving fast. So we're just going to move up, and I think I'm going to actually Vigilance the Salamander too. Okay, so the Fafnir is out of there. The Mackie is going to shoot at the Zeus, obviously. There's no other option. Yes, come the Battlemaster is going to close in up here. You say so. And is also going to shoot at the Zeus. And miss everything. Okay, cool. I want that Fafnir too, by the way. We're going to pay we're going to take parts from that if we can. I'm not sure what all is available and I don't think that we get enough to be able to salvage the whole Fafnir 2, but I'm very interested in a Fafnir, let alone a Fafnir 2. So we're gonna fire the Long Tom on the uh. Zeus, and that's a solid hit. Kaboom. I'm Excellent. Here. The Mauler continues to close in a bit, and we're going to just lob a couple LRM-10s. Right. Not expecting too much out of that. Three damage. What can I do for you? The Boar's Head is out of Sniper Artillery and Arrow 4, so all we can do is lob some LRMs. Roger that. Firing on target. 
Once again, not doing a ton of damage there, but that's fine. Ooh, we do get an LOS with the Corsair here. It's not a great one, but it'll do. We'll Warlord that to boost it and fire at the Zeus. Only 22 damage there. Oof. <laughs> okay. We're going to reserve and let the Zeus move first at this point. I absolutely want the Zeus to move here. And move it shall. We're hoping it comes forward. I think it went backward. Kind of sideways, actually. And fires a breaching shot at the Battlemaster again. That's been its move the last three rounds, and it hasn't gotten anything out of it any time. So the awesome can stay exactly where it's at. That'll have to do. These hit odds aren't great, but we'll pot shot that. We did get one hit with the ERPPC. The fire starter moves up, lobs some LRMs, gets some instability on the Zeus, I guess. That's fine. I await your command. The mauler is not really capable of doing too much right now. We're just going to pop over to here and lob our LRM 10. Yeah, not a whole lot there. Standing by. Now, the Salamander, I would love to get into LOS with it, but that's just not in the cards right now. Standing by. The Orion can make its way up over to here. Going full throttle. And we're going to lob a few more LRMs at the Zeus. Okay, barely getting any damage in there, but that's fine. You, the Boar's Head is going to do pretty much the same thing. Got it. <laughs> barely getting damage down. That's more than 20% damage reduction. I can tell you that right now. We're seeing like 75% dam damage reduction on this guy. Or, well, at least 50%. The Battlemaster is going to close in. We have a direct LOS here. It's a little out of range, but we'll go ahead and fire at it. Yeah, that's definitely like 60% damage reduction. He is in cover. Ah. He's entrenched in cover and in forest. Got it. Standing by. Well, the bull shark will move up, and move. we are going to fire on the Zeus with the long top. Kaboom. Good armor Standing damage by. there. The Corsair moves up. Understood. And we'll pop him with the light gauss if we can. Fire. His armor is getting very low, so this won't take too much longer. Hopefully he comes forward here. That would be nice. But he's probably going to continue retreating, if I know rogue tech AI. Like, he doesn't have a chance, but there we go. He came forward. And he hit the Battlemaster fairly hard, but that's okay. He also dies this round, so that's great. The Awesome is able to get an LOS over here, and I like it. Not fantastic PPC hit odds, but we'll take them. Nice. Both of those hit. The Salamander is still not able to get a direct LOS, but we'll lob a few ATMs anyway. Yeah, that'll do. Firestarter moves up. Doesn't do anything of note. The Orion is going to climb this hill, but it doesn't get a direct LOS. It can just continue to lob its Zeus, or rather its LRM-20s. It only has the one Zeus. <laughs> That's okay for now. Yes, Commander. And the Battlemaster is, I think, going to position back in this cover over here. And we're going to fire on this guy. Only the one hit there, but we did get an Engine Core 400 crit. Critical hit, Commander. That Zeus has basically no armor left. So our Centurion moves up, lobs a few missiles, doesn't get very much done, what in all honesty. The boar's head is going to continue to lob missiles. It's just unfortunate that basically this whole fight has been indirect fire because of the turret. But, you know, sometimes that happens. And the good news is we are able to handle both direct and indirect yeah. situations. So that's great. The Mackie fires on the Zeus. And gets almost entirely armor damage there. I like it, actually. I think that that's a good thing. The Corsair is, I think, not able to get any LOS right now, so we'll just sprint up over this way. I live to serve. And the Mauler can make its way on up over here. Looking I like good. it. Moving fast. And lob a couple LRM-10s. We expect very little out of that, in all honesty. Aye, aye. 
The bull shark can continue to advance and drop another artillery. That Zeus is incredibly close to death. Okay, let's see what he does here. I'd love it if he continued to advance on us. Like, come on out of that cover, bud. He's not going to come out of the cover, is he? No. No, he's not. However, he's in LOS of the Salamander, which means he's dead. He is just straight up dead. I'm ready. There's no way around it. The Salamander closes in in a side arc. It's obstructed LOS, yes, but it's in a side arc. And this Zeus is so dead. Firing. Not to mention every other mech that was able to shoot at him. <laughs> well, that was certainly a lot. And the only reason it was difficult was LOS. That was just the terrain. That was the whole thing. I do regret landing where we did, but we didn't really know what the layout was going to look like until after we landed. So I don't really feel like I could have done that that much better. I honestly expected the units to be closer to the escort target, but yeah, fair enough. Whatever. What do we want from salvage? Absolutely Fafnir parts. Nothing but Fafnir parts. Give me those Fafnir parts. Okay. Streak SRM2s, pass. UAC5 is not bad to have around. Battle computer, we do have one of those. A Beagle active probe, we've got one. Heat sinks and an IFF jammer. I guess we'll keep that around. Not much from salvage, but hey, a couple Fafnir parts is not awful. It is already time to put another cut in here. That mission definitely took up two episodes, and it was only because of LOS. We did take a decent amount of damage, so I do expect that it'll take some time to get that repaired, and it'll be a decent chunk of sea bills to do the repairs as well, at least a couple hundred thousand. Like I said, it is time to put a cut in here, and once we know how much that repair is going to cost, I will go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And let's see what Yang has to say. I was hoping by the time I finished that that this would be done loading, but no such luck. Okay, here we go. What do you got, Yang? Couple hundred thousand. As expected. 33 days for the repairs. I don't think that's actually going to be the case, but we will definitely get those repairs done. It was all just armor damage, and a lot of them were pretty extensive, but not that extensive. So, yeah, this is not going to be 33 days. I can tell you that right now. And with that, like I said, that cut is going in, so I will see you all next time.